Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I've helped creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can quickly create your link in bio for Instagram with system.io. I actually wanted to make this video because I had somebody messaging me the other day asking me a marketing question. They were a new system.io user, but they were using Linktree as their link in bio and didn't know that you could create a link in bio funnel in system.io. So here we are. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that I've put links to any resources that I have in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content useful today, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep creating more content for you guys. If you haven't heard of System.io, get ready to ditch your link tree, your boring stock standard Instagram links, and say hello to a full-on automated marketing system that can do a link in bio landing page plus so much more. They say there isn't really any benefit for paying for multiple tools, where you can have one tool do almost everything. That's where System.io comes in ready to up your business and marketing game. To get started, you're going to need a System.io account. Of course, you're going to need an Instagram account. And to make this process even faster, I've designed a one-click install link in bio template called the Abigail template. This template is based off of a very successful digital product seller. So grab that from the comment section below. Now to show you how good this template is, I actually need my own link in bio done. So I'm going to jump over to the computer and I'm going to set it up with you. Okay, so I have the Abigail Canva template open. This is going to help me do all of the editing of the design. I've also got the system.io abigail actual template open as well and i have my website open too now if you don't have a website that is totally fine you do not need one i just have it open because i'm going to be making one for myself because i haven't actually got a link in bio template i don't think so i'm going to be using that base of that abigail template if you don't have any fonts colors branding anything like that i would just recommend that you go on pinterest find something that you like and that your target audience would like and use that as a base to build from. So I've picked that there just like as an example, and I've uploaded it into this site called Coolers, and that just gives me all of the color codes. I can play around with things. I can change all the hues and things like that if I want to spend time doing that, if I haven't already got that. And then what I've done is in the Abigail template, I just put that screenshot there, and you can... With Canva, it's really, really good because you can just dump that screenshot in there and you can grab some circles and it will already grab the colors for you. If you've played around in coolers, you can just probably screenshot this and just go grab that as well. But I just wanted to give you some different tools to be able to start off if you didn't have anything sorted already. Okay, so that's what I would do there. Now I'm going to be doing my own template because I have got, no, I've got nothing. So the first thing that I have actually done is I've grabbed all of the links and I have basically put them in order of all the cool free stuff that I think needs to go first on my page. Now with your Instagram link in bio stuff, you want to make sure that you have freebies to grow your email list. You want to have at least one low ticket digital product probably some affiliate links, definitely the link to your full website if you have one. If you don't, it doesn't matter. And then some other socials if you want to. So I have got my Abigail template here and I am going to quickly write in order all of the different ones that I want to put into this template. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look a little bit more like me and my branding so my branding and my style is really bright and bold and I also love to use contrast and I love to make sort of digital collage elements so I'm going to start by I already I've got this colorzilla that I use because I'm so lazy and I never keep my brand colors which I should but I just use that to pick from my website again remember if you don't have the website you can just put your brand colors on here on the Canva board and then that's how you can get the color codes so you can click on that circle. If you click on here and then you go to that edit button there, you'll be able to grab the color code from there. So I can see that there is the color code there. Or if you wanted to download Colorzilla, it is completely free. And you could just color pick it like that and it copies the code into your clipboard. So I am going to use my background color, which is this nice beige color that I've got. And I'm probably going to put it in the background of this because that is the color that I like to use 
And then I'm also probably going to start making these white because I would like those to stand out a little bit more, I think. So you can change the colors just by going through there and it's really easy to do everything. So I am going to change all of the colors and I'm going to change some of the fonts. I'll probably show you how to change the fonts because that's probably a good idea. You can go to here and you can use WebSafe fonts, Google fonts, or you can upload your own custom fonts. So you can see that I've uploaded a couple of different fonts here. It's really easy. You just need to grab the file and you can just upload it from there. Okay, so I am going to fast forward this and I'm going to make this look amazing and make it look exactly like it needs to for my brand. Okay, so after I've done a little bit of fiddling around and I've changed the colors and I've put in my own content and I've changed the buttons and things like that and the styling, this is what I have come up with. So this is with the same Abigail template, but it's just with my colors and fonts and everything like that and my own content. So it's really versatile. So the next thing that you are going to want to do after you have done all of the design is you're going to want to put your links throughout everything. So make sure that your links are all updated. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to update the buttons. So how you do that is there's a button there and you can see that there is a link there. So I'm just going to go through and update all of the links on here to make sure that they lead to the right places. Now, the very last thing to do is to make sure that you test everything. Now, I already know this template is mobile friendly because obviously I designed it, but there is one thing that I do want to change on it. So I'll just show you how you can test it first. So what you do is you click on this preview button and you will see the template appear and you can click on all of your links and just make sure that they lead to the right places and just make sure that everything is spelt correctly and all that kind of stuff. Now, I know as I mentioned before, that this template is mobile friendly, but I think I've decided because some of the images that I had, I actually want them to be a little bit bigger and pronounced a little bit more, I guess, and just have a little bit more hierarchy because otherwise it starts looking a little bit the same. So what I'm going to do with this design is the ones that I kind of want a little bit more highlighted, I am going to make them bigger like this. So how I've done that is if I, let's just say I go to this one here, I can click on the row right there. And what I can do is I can disable vertically stacked rows on mobile devices. So that means that instead of it being sort of next to each other, it's going to disable it. So you can, the cool thing about system.io is you can have, like if I go back to the desktop version now, it stays exactly the same. So you can customize things exactly how you like so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to choose some of the things that I would like focused and a little bit more dominant I guess than the other ones so I'm going to disable that as well and then you just can play with some of the settings like for example if I wanted that to go into the middle because remember on mobile screens are a little bit smaller so I think that it looks a little bit better to be centered with stuff like this so you can see that I'm doing that there just by using the left-hand navigation, it's really easy. A lot of the stuff, I mean, I'm probably too design-orientated and detail-orientated, but I just like things looking a certain way. And this template definitely helps because otherwise you have to do all of this stuff from scratch and it is deep. So I will go ahead and I will continue with the rest of the template and I will show you what the very, very end result looks like. Okay, so this is the final result. This is what it'll look like on desktop. So if I shared this anywhere and someone was on the computer, it would look great. And if I shared it through anyone who was going to be looking at it on mobile, this is what it would look like. So I've double checked all the links and made sure everything works and it is looking great. Now, the very last thing to do is to make sure that in the settings that you change the names of the, like the SEO title and the description and any keywords or anything like that, because that will be in the template. But just for now, I'm also going to show you how you actually grab the link for this. So I've already saved the changes and the link that you're going to grab is going to be this link here. Now, before you grab that link and you start sharing it everywhere, make sure that all of these links are updated first, okay? So you wanna make sure that all of these links are customized to you, and then you need to make sure that everything links correctly, okay? Now, by that, I mean each of these pages will link to something in here. Now, for my own one, I don't actually need all of these pages because I'm linking to different funnels inside my system.io account. 
But if this is the only funnel that you're starting with, what you need to do is you need to update these links. And let's just say I need to add the privacy policy. I will grab the link from the privacy policy and I will go to the main page and I'll go, you know, somewhere down the bottom. I think privacy policy was down here, but I didn't need it because I've got privacy policies on all my individual funnels. And you would do this. And then you would grab the link and you would pop it in there. So that was that is how you link all of the pages together if they need to be, you know, externally linked, I guess, is the way to describe it. Now, inside the Abigail System.io template tutorial, I will actually go through how you use all of these pages and how you set up a digital product and all that kind of stuff. But this is basically how you can really, really quickly get up and running with this simple template. It seems like a little bit of work at the start, and it kind of is, I guess, but you're basically building an entire website. <laughs> When people have these link in bio pages, it is actually so much more than just this page. You are actually building an entire website and a funnel, but this template will save you so much time and that is why I designed it. If you enjoyed my content today, please like and subscribe. Leave any questions below. I always answer my comments and make sure you check out this video. It's going to help you level up even further.